I had the opportunity to travel to Canada to participate in training related to that program and training related to delivering from an instructor's perspective that said program. The experience of working with AIT initially and subsequently Red Deer has been extremely beneficial in that we were able to transfer first world teaching practices to our students. It's been really rewarding. You know, when you go down there, the first time I was down there, um, I facilitated some workshops with their instructors from all their different campuses. I've been down there seven times. It's, it's given me the ability to watch that progression and that growth that they have. And it's been really impressive how far they've come in such a short period of time. It was, it was fantastic. Well, first of all, the weather is beautiful and the people were so friendly and eager to learn and participate. It was, uh, excellent students, I should say. We had an actual functional drilling rig, which we did practical exercises on that comprises 30% of the program. So it was not only theory as compared to the other programs I have did. So I found that very interesting, very rewarding because it gave me a deeper understanding of the drilling process. We're making a difference, right? You can see the change, you can see that they're embracing the ideas and suggestions that we're uh, coming up with and just building every time on what we've done the last time. So yeah, it's, it's definitely rewarding. Over time, we've also had the opportunity to learn from their instructors. Um, you know, when you have different areas, uh, different industries, and you have different types of equipment, it makes you rethink the way that you do things also in some of the things that we've done down there. We've incorporated into our programs up here too. Everybody should be proud of the work that, that we've done together. Um, uh, and again, like because we've got a strong foundation, I, there's lots of opportunity moving forward. NASC is focused on demand-driven training that meets industry standards, enabling graduates to operate independently, using innovative approaches to address and solve work-based problems. This is the strategic intent of the collaborative partnership with Red Deer Polytechnic. It's exciting for faculty in our institution, faculty at NTI, as well as uh, the administrative teams that meet regularly. And for me, a huge part of it is um, the relationships that we've established. At NESC, we are proud to be partners with the RDP, as together both institutions have proven to be a powerful force in workforce development. Together, NTI and Red Deer Polytechnic uh, form a strong force for teaching and learning that can occur uh, in other areas of the Caribbean, and those opportunities are just now beginning to unfold. We're really very, very, very happy to be in partnership with Red Deer Polytechnic. I think they have some excellent systems and programs in place. And I think we want to fashion our institution after Red Deer Polytechnic. So that I think between Canada, Alberta, similar economies, oil and gas, and Trinidad, Tobago, oil and gas, that's where we see ourselves really excelling. I think what's important about this partnership is we're both technical institutions. We, we're both here to serve industry and to produce graduates that are ready for industry. And what is really interesting is the companies that our, our graduates are going uh, into are often companies that um, exist within both countries. And so, it's, so while we're international partners working across long distances, in some ways it's, it's a really um, intimate relationship because we're serving similar companies and similar industries and really providing our learners with the ability to, to, to gain access to, to those companies but also gain access to a global industry. And so I just want to share with us very briefly what is happening at the Ministry of Education in Guyana. And for those of us who are current with our social media postings and listening to the newscast 
as it relates to Guyana's significant transformation. You will all recognize and agree with me that indeed, Guyana is on that cusp of sing significant transformational development as it relates to its socio-economic landscape. And so pivotal to this whole landscape changing fits plummet technical vocation education and training. The government of Guyana, by extension the Ministry of Education, recognizing the importance or the critical importance of technical education. As we even look into the future, and this is the very, very near future, you know, Guyana, who is just next to us, um, suddenly found oil and gas as well. And there's a lot of hype and unnecessary in terms of local content and training of graduates. So, so I think all in all, we are really, really in a great position. Trinidad being here next to Guyana, we have already started stuff with Barbados. And I think, you know, RDP and NTI needs to start to go regional. So that's where we see our future, immediate future regionally, being a powerful institution as partners and then internationally. We see ourselves as part of an international community and we want to have an international impact. And we also want to commit, and we are committed, to the Sustainable Development Goals. And Sustainable Development Goal 4 talks about quality education and providing and, and, and enhancing access to quality education. And so this is, I think, a great relationship where we are doing that. And we want to see how we can extend on this relationship and leverage this relationship with NTI to support access to quality education across um, other countries within the Caribbean region.